So today is day two of the LA Times Festival books and I'm going there and today I'm going to hopefully four panels. Um, the first one I'm going to is the one with Emery Lord and Morgan Manson and a bunch of other auth contemporary YA authors. And then I'm going to one with Sabal Tahir and a bunch of authors I don't know but like Sabal Tahir is just amazing. I, I love her. And then I'm going to a suspense one with Ali Carter and Allison Noel and a bunch of other ones. And then the last one I'm going to is Fantasy and World Building with Victoria Aviard and Marie Lu. I'm so excited for that one. I can't wait to meet Victoria Aviard. I loved Red Queen so much. We left a little late. I hope we get to the Emery Lord one in time because I really, really want to go to that one. But you, have the, <laughs> you have emojis in this one. I have emojis Morgan in this and one, I, you guys. Morgan and I are big practitioners of emojis. It's I so exciting. Emojis. It's like a big surprise. I'm like so excited to talk about it. And my designer, my book designer had to like design her own emojis because you're not allowed to use the ones that are on your phone because like like your phone or Apple or someone owns them. I don't understand. Like they had to keep meeting with legal. Um, <laughs> and I was just like, <laughs> Morgan's like, give me heart eyes. No, Seriously. Heart eyes. So she had to like design her own versions. I mean like even texts from my mom. I was showing people yesterday the last four texts that my mom sent me ended with the red heart emoji. Like unrelated texts like, how's California, red heart? Are you feeling okay, red heart? <laughs> I saw the best thing on Facebook the other day. A, girl's, a girl I know, her grandma just got texting. And so she texted her grandma three hearts and said, I love you. And her grandma said, thank you. <laughs> the last time I resisted, I was like, I don't need texting. I have phones. Why would I need texting? And then finally there was a girl that I wanted to ask out. And I was way too nervous to actually call her on the phone uh -huh. or ask her in person. I was like, okay, I need to figure out this texting. Somebody tell me how to text her. <laughs> so I had her number. And actually, we wound up dating for six weeks and it was terrible. But, you know, that was the text. <laughs> um, um, in my book, uh, there's a lunatic politician who wants to build a wall. <laughs> so, I picked up on that. I think I, I do live there. Okay. Classic trick. I didn't want to marry Spock, I wanted to be Spock. And um, Star Trek The Next Generation, uh, Picard was like totally my hero, one of my first crushes. So. He lives in my neighborhood. No, really? Yeah. I'm gonna come stalk him. I see him on the train all the time. He's married to a 33 year old woman. 34. What you want to do is, is turn off that really loud, annoying, judgmental voice in your head telling you how badly you suck and how Ali Carter's book is great. <laughs> it's just, it's not, it's not as good as the opening paragraph to kill a mockingbird. <laughs> And she said, okay, well, that's the greatest novel ever written, so let's lower our speed. <laughs> So it's sometime after and I've done three panels and <laughs> dang, I went to one with Emery Lord and Morgan Manson and holy crap, Emery Lord is just so cool. I cannot wait to read her book. She's so amazing and I got to talk to her and she's like so nice and cool and I didn't have anything for Morgan Manson to sign and they were, they actually had copies of The Unexpected Everything and it's not even out till like May and I was like, oh my god, I need to get a copy and then when I found that out, they ran out of copies. So I had nothing for Morgan Manson to sign, but I still got to talk to her and I got a picture with her. And she's, she's so cool, I really love her and I can't wait to read more of her books because I really, really loved her books since you've been gone. Then I went to another panel with Sabah Tahir, Mercedes Lackey, Michael Buckman, I think? I forget his last name. And I forget the other lady. She wrote the Zodiac series. And that panel was amazing. All, all the authors were so cool and they were so funny and all their personalities meshed really well together. And I went to a um, suspense and series panel with Ali Carter, um, Alison Noel, Taryn Shackman, I think his name was. He wrote These Vicious Masks and Maggie Hall. And that panel was okay. Like I like some parts of it, but like in the beginning I was kind of bored. But yeah, I still really liked it. And I don't think I got that much footage for that one though. Oh well. And then I'm eating lunch right now and I'm gonna go to my last panel, which is with Victoria Aviard, Mary Lou, and a bunch of others. So I got a sushi burrito again and this one actually has eel this time and it's bigger. I, I, I'm excited to eat it. Slang for messing with someone is taking the piss. 
Like, you're just messing me with me. You're just, you're just taking, who's just taking piss? I said, I said taking uh, piss. I'm gonna put it in Like, stealing the piss. My editor didn't catch it. Like, just no British people read the book before it was published. That was my problem. <laughs> Always be the British proofreader. Um, I was about to be like, I'll help you out, but then I was like, no, I would fully have left that because I thought it was really funny. There was a cut scene where they were definitely in a thousand year old Starbucks, and it was very cool. <laughs> and a couple of, like, my dad was like, that's funny. And then my editor was like, this is terrible, take this out. But whenever I think about the shining locks and beautiful character of your daughter, I just think I want to marry her. So how about it? Can I marry? Your daughter? <laughs> the heroine of A Tale of Two Cities is so silenced that she doesn't even get to be there for her own proposal scene. There was a really long romantic scene between the hero and her dad. <laughs> Loki just kills millions of people with no thought of anyone, but you know, he loves his mom, so A plus. <laughs> We're gonna throw ourselves at his feet. Whereas Bella, you know, is a teenager who has who is dealing with, you know, first love. Uh, and first obsession, and people just are just like, die, Bella, die. And I'm like, okay, this seems a little disproportionate, <laughs> slightly. And and I and I feel like there are some gender issues in that. Well, people are, are often like, you know, what world have you really wanted to live in? I'm like, oh, none of them. No, <laughs> terrible things happen in those worlds. And they're like, here be dragons. And I'm like, dragons are a fire hazard. <laughs> And uh, there are, I mean, you know, I feel like we only read the stories of the victors. How many shallow graves of children are there in Narnia? That is my question. Uh, so I would stay very far away from them all. And um, I used to play a lot of video games too, so Sonic the Hedgehog also in a very immersive 16-bit world that uh, I wrote some fanfiction of. As well. <laughs> Usually very dark and morbid when he died. Last year, Marie read her um, Sonic the Hedgehog fanfiction aloud to an audience. It was amazing. <laughs> it, was, it was a story. I wrote it when I was like eight, and Sonic was running through the forest, uh, and a tree fell on him. And he had to, he couldn't run for a while, so he was in a wheelchair and had to discover his inner speed. <laughs> <laughs> so I just got out of the last panel with Ransom Ring, Sarah Reese Brennan, Mary Lou, and Victoria Aveyard, and it was amazing. Sarah Lee's Brennan is hilarious. Like I was laughing so hard so many times. Like I seriously like need to read her books because she is the best. So I want to do a little mini book haul before I go home. So I got three books signed. So first I start off the day by getting Open Road Summer signed by Emery Lord. So I got it, I got it signed by her. And then I all Morgan Manton also signed this book this postmark for me. Post it for me. And um while I was waiting for her, oh yeah, I also got this bookmark signed by Emery Lord. And while I was waiting for Emery Lord, one of the other authors, she had like a really bunch of really cool goodies. So I was like, oh hey, can I have one? So I got this really cute bookmark. I really like it. It's so cool. And then I also got a sticker that she had there. It was so pretty. Like look at this. Her book, her her book is so pretty and she was really cool. And I got Glass Sword signed by Victoria Aviard. This is actually signed twice. I have this signed because it was like a pre-signed page. And now I actually have it signed by her. Oh my god. Look at this. I also got Prodigy signed by Marie Lou, but I have not read this series. I got this signed for a friend. And, and they... She was so nice. My friends wrote like a long letter to her because they love her so much. And she was so nice. She was like, oh my God, can thank you. Can you tell them that they made my day? And this is so beautiful. Can I please keep this? Am I allowed to? Like, she's so nice. I, I really loved her. So the signing line was so freaking long to get um, signed Marie Lou and Victoria Aviard. And I was just like standing in line like, oh my God, this is going to take two hours and cries inside. And then this lady came over 
like after 40 ish minutes or maybe longer it might have been an hour and um she was like oh are you signing are you waiting for ransom rigs and i'm like oh no just victoria aviard and marie lou and she was like oh okay because ransom rigs line is so long so let me bring you to the front and then i got done and i was so happy because i was like oh my god can i please not stay here for two hours because my my ride home is so long anyways i had the most amazing time at this book event the only downer is that it rained yesterday and also the university is so freaking big that every time we had to get somewhere we literally had to ask like three people in the process of getting there when we got there like how to get there like it was ridiculous like to this to this morning we asked directions how to get to a place and then we were halfway to the place we asked directions how to get there again because we got lost and this literally happened every single place we had to go to and sometimes it was even more people we asked for like it's ridiculous like my cousin goes to school and like I don't even know how he gets around in time and um and my grandma said that his mom actually had to buy him a skateboard because he wasn't getting to class on time yeah that's ridiculous like 35,000 people go to that school it's crazy I cannot imagine ever going to that college anyways I had the most amazing time and I'm sad I only got to talk to Victoria Aviard for like two seconds because like it was really like so fast and but she was really nice and I really loved her in the panel. She was great. And so I had, a, I had an amazing time. Check out the video I did for day one. So this is the end of day two. I hope you enjoyed. Au revoir.